Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, I haven't put out a video in a while. Um, the last time I put out a video was, um, I think that was in, on uh, May 18th. I had COVID, so I had to recover from COVID. You know, I think the Lord that I was able to recover. My COVID was in very, um, it was mostly mild when I kind of stayed home. And But I'm fine now. I'm back on YouTube putting out videos and sharing the gospel. You know, there's about three dreams that the Lord gave me. I had about three uh, prophetic dreams that I wanted to tell you guys about. The first dream I had was about last night. Was last night. It was about, I think her name is Brittany Griner. She's the um, WNBA star that is in, um, she's locked up in Russia. She's detained. She's been there for about 150 days. The reason why she was detained in Russia is it happened during the war, when the war started in Ukraine. She was detained because they said that she had a hashish oil in her purse. I, think, I, I guess apparently that hashish is not allowed, it's banned in Russia. So they found it in her, uh, in her luggage at the airport and she's been detained for about 115 days. So the Lord gave me a dream about her last night and uh, she's not, you know, I want you guys to pray for her. I pray for her today that the Lord will protect her but she's not doing very well in that prison. They're not treating her very well at all. And um, so she's not, she's not in good shape. So if you guys could pray for her, that the Lord will be with her because she's detained and she's not, from what the Lord showed me in the dream, she's not in, um, she's not doing very well. So pray for her, lift her up in prayer. And her name is uh, Brittany Griner. She played for the, uh, I think, the Phoenix Mercury. That's a WNBA um, basketball team. So pray that she'll be okay. The second dream that I had, it was about this former Haitian president, this former Haitian president that's going to be assassinated. In the dream, it was a prophetic dream. The Lord took me, took my soul, my spirit, you know how it is sometimes, guys. When we have those kind of prophetic dreams, we're not sure if we are in the body or out of the body. The Lord took me to this former president's house, and I saw blood all over the house. They just had assassinated him. So he's a former president of Haiti, and in the dream, the Lord showed me that he was assassinated. So I'm not talking about the president of Haiti that was assassinated last year while he was in office. This is a different person. This is a different guy that he was present at one time. He hasn't been present um, and he was assassinated. And the Lord took me to his home. After they finished assassinating him, I saw blood all over the floor. So this is gonna be somebody, this is gonna be another president. Okay, so this is a former president of Haiti that's, that's about to be assassinated. So I don't want you guys who's not familiar with Haitian politics confuse the two. The last president was assassinated in office, but this this guy, this person that they were assassinated, he's a former president. So he's not, he's a former president of Haiti. So I wanted to uh, tell you guys about that. The third dream that I had was last night. And the dream was, um, I was at this church I guess I was the pastor of this church and there was a, like a big party going on. I guess it was like a Christmas time and, and you know, I walk into the church and um, I was getting ready to start preaching. Um, and then the thing is, but I was not prepared. So I didn't, I didn't have any of my sermon working. I didn't have any of my sermon notes to start preaching. So this was my first time preaching in front of people. And, and then I told everybody in the audience, I said, if you guys have any problems, if you guys have any things going on, any issues you want somebody to talk to, you guys should give me a call. And then 
I was looking at my cell phone. I was trying to, you know how sometimes when you put your cell phone, you put your telephone number, you save it on your phone. So, because you don't remember your phone number, because you probably just got the phone. So you put your telephone number, you save it on the phone. So I was looking at my phone. I was trying to give him the telephone number, but I couldn't come up with the telephone number. And then I was talking to one of the guy uh, in the church and I walked into the church. I said, what's your name? And he told me his name. Oh, I said, that's a beautiful name. And, he, you know, he was an Italian guy. I said, what's your name? He told me his name. I said, oh, that's a beautiful Italian name. So while I was in the church, when I was going to start preaching and everybody on uh, my, uh, the congregation was just sitting there watching me, um, just very attentive to what I was about to say. So, you know, I talked in my previous video. <laughs> I put a video out. Um, a few weeks ago, I talk about how the Lord called upon me for ministry. The Lord wants me to pastor a church. He wants me to start a church, and and this 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 church is going to be in Canada. So I'm, I'm asking you guys for prayer, and I'm asking you guys to uh, to lift me up in prayer, so I'll be able to start this this church that the Lord wants me to uh, to start. So I, I need your prayer, and uh, you know put me on your prayer list. Because I, I had a dream last year. This was around 2000. Well, this was sometime last year when I was in Mexico at the time. I had a dream where I was um, leading a group of people. We got into this. Uh, it looks like uh, some type of um, conference room or church. It could have been a church. And then I said, how come there's no pastor? Where is the pastor? Like three people from the congregation, they said to me, you are the pastor. That was the first time the Lord called upon me on ministry. The second dream I had was when I was, um, yeah, so the, I had another second dream when I was, that was sometime, that was a few weeks ago. I was in this church. I was sitting next to the pastor. The pastor was preaching the gospel, and for some reason, the audience party was not um, happy or satisfied with the way he was preaching the word, and they just grab me, push him away, and look at him and say, you preach the gospel. So that was the second dream, and the third dream was the dream that I just explained to you guys earlier. The Lord wants me to um, to start a church, and I just need you guys, like I said earlier, to put me on your prayer list, to lift me up so the Lord could give me wisdom, and he could strengthen me, that I'd be able to, um, to shepherd the flock for him. Because when God call upon you on ministry, it's a it's a big deal, and you know we you know you know we have the enemy who wants to uh, stop us, who wants to derail our purpose, he, he wants to defeat us, so we'll not be able to be effective for the Lord. So that's that's why I came here today and put this video. Uh, I desperately need your uh, prayer, and and I'm glad when the Lord showed me the church that I was pastor of this church. The church is very diverse, and I think that's a good thing, you know. In the body of Christ, we all need to come together. It doesn't matter what your skin color or your financial, your, your economic status. We all are one in Christ, male, female. There's no Greek or Jew in, um, in the Lord. We all are one. Christ is the head. We are the body. So we all need to come together. Do not let the enemy divide you based on the um, you know, different interpretation of the Bible based on our different um, nationality or skin color. All those things are petty, they are trivial, and do not let the enemy come um, create that division among you guys, okay? You guys need to fight a good fight and hold on to the Lord. Thank you guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. May the Lord bless you.